Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Dear brothers and sisters, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Unfortunately, despite the clarity of the situation and knowing the severity of the case of the health of the Shaykh, and despite the valiant efforts of our brothers and sisters in Nigeria, the judge has decided to deliberate for another week on the case of Shaykh Zakzaki. This is a farce and a ruse. If there was any justice in Nigeria, the judge would have thrown the case out. He knows better than anyone that the High Court of Nigeria has already deliberated and ruled in this, on this matter. Further detention of the Shaykh is illegal. Knowing that the Shaykh may be breathing his last and still deciding to delay the case for another week is immoral, unconstitutional, and illegal. The question is, what is our responsibility? Islam has made that very clear, brothers and sisters. Islam has taught us that we're supposed to be a khasm or the enemy of the dhalim and the tyrant and a aun or help and assistance for the madloom. It's very clear in this case that Shaykh Zakzaki is madloom. Brothers and sisters, we must go to the streets and demand the immediate and unconditional release of Shaykh Zakzaki. It's true that we've gone in the past, but that's not enough. We must go again. The enemy is betting that they have time on their side. They are thinking that they can delay the release of the Shaykh and that he will become Shaheed in the prison. But they have underestimated the determination of the Ummah of Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wa Alaihi Wasallam. They have forgotten that our teacher is Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wa Alaihi Wasallam and he taught us, Man sami'a rajulan yunadi ya lil muslimin. Whoever hears a man calling to the Muslims for assistance, falam yujibhu, and does not answer this person, falaysa bi muslim. This person is not a Muslim. So this is a matter of aqidah and deen and belief. Alhamdulillah, there has been a response, a strong response on behalf of the ummah, but that's not enough. There are still brothers and sisters who have been on the fence, who haven't come and shown their support. Like the Tawabin, they've been slow to react. And we don't want to be slow to react. Actually, there is punishment, divine punishment, for failing to come to the assistance of the Madloom. Imam Sadiq taught us that whoever doesn't spend in the way of Allah will be afflicted with spending in the way of ma'asiyah of Allah. And whoever doesn't come to the assistance of the wali of Allah will be afflicted. It won't even be in that person's hands. They will go to the assistance of the adu Allah, the enemy of Allah. So brothers and sisters, this is a very serious matter. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has chosen to test us with this madloom in Nigeria. He is deciding when to send the Mahdi back. And he is doing that based on our actions. When will we come to the assistance of this madlu? So brothers and sisters, again, I am asking for another weekend of action for us to take to the streets and to do our responsibility. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.